Assalamu alaikum I am Afzal Badsha and uh, today in this video I am going to discuss how to write the uh, introduction chapter of your dissertations before writing your dissertations or before going to write your research papers two things which you must keep in your mind the first thing is that PhD or uh, any research degree is all about reading 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 and writing so you should do extensive reading you should read a lot of papers a good quality papers with extensive reading with full attention attention to get something and to un fully understand your topic and secondly you should think that you are going to write for your grandparents uh, who are not aware about your topic who are not aware about your uh, subject and you are going to write for them you should write your introduction chapter like that because uh, your introduction chapter is read for first time and uh, the people the the scholars are the people from the market who read your uh, your paper or your dissertation introduction chapter they get something and they go from general to specific the specific for example if I am going to write about uh, optimizing revenue maximization in the cloud computing so the, my first chapter is the cloud computing my topic is the cloud computing so this is my responsibility that I should write about the cloud computing that what is cloud computing so if anybody who is new about this topic who is not aware about this topic he should get the idea that what is the cloud computing after that I will go toward that how revenue is done in the cloud computing how the marketing is done and after that how the revenue may be maximized in the cloud computing so from the general to specific to get to give full understanding to readers to uh, to create a hook for the read, readers to catch them the, these are very important f for your introduction chapter and further that you have explained in detail especially in your introduction that what what are the main issues what are the main challenges and how you are going to handle that if I am going to describe that in, in which section you can divide your introduction chapter this may matter uh, uh, you may divide uh, in different portions every, uh, every person use uh, their own thinking their own divisions but I will say that first you write a little bit introductions of your topic in the second you write the motivations that to, which are the factors which motivate you toward this topic and after motivation you write the research challenges you can see that this is the problems Th these are the issues these are the limitations which you find out in the literature and after that you write the aims and the objectives that what are the what are your aims what are the your main objectives uh, 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 for this for this paper for this uh, article and after that you describe your contribution or approach especially the approach if you have some aims for example my aim is to maximize the provider revenue then which, which is my approach how will I do that how I will uh, maximize the provider revenue and after writing the approach you write the uh, dissertations or these uh, organizations so let's let's explain these uh, all these portions one by one the the first one is the motivations in the motivation you describe in detail that what are the main factors which motivate you which uh, uh, catch you to work on this uh, this special topic and this special project for example uh, you will explain in detail but not exactly in words if you are writing a technical paper you are not going to write this in 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 in, uh, in plain text uh, in simple paragraphs or uh, 
not giving any specific examples, uh, uh, specific technical examples, equation, mathematical equations, etc. So if you are writing a technical paper, this will need uh, a paragraph, this will need a graph, this will need a uh, facts and figures especially the facts and figures this will need uh, special images this will need uh, uh, facts and figures especially so for example if I'm working on the cloud computing to optimize the revenue in the cloud computing what are the main motivations which I got for that I have wrote in my own dissertations I have uh, wrote a number of reasons but the first two words that uh, the first one is that uh, it is estimated this is a research that about more than 50 billion devices are going to attach with the cloud computing up to 2020 and currently the world population is seven seven billion people this means that more than uh, the devices are greater than even seven times uh, from the total populations. This means that uh, the world is turning toward, toward the cloud, the devices are going toward the cloud, the traditional world is migrating toward the cloud computing. This is the you know, big motivation toward. So I, I, I could refer this. The second one I placed uh, a graph which shows the revenue the total investment in the cloud computing which increase every year uh, and and the ratio of increasing is very high this shows that billion uh, dollars are going to invest in the cloud computing this is also a very good uh, and great motivations uh, uh, which may catch anyone, which may motivate anyone to work, to invest, and to uh, design any uh, anything, any any work for the cloud computing. So you should uh, write your motivation such like that with facts and figures, with paragraph, with figures, with the graphs, with the, with some mathematical equations which will prove which will recommend that yes you, your area is good and your selection is good the second thing the second in the second portion you explain the research challenges you you, you explain your problems uh, and when you explain your problem once again if you're writing a technical uh, paper you should write any uh, mathematical equations to prove that what is the issue in my case my issue is that uh, if the provider have limited resources and with the limited resources he or she can engage a limited workload a limited service level agreement as a limited customer and with limited customer he and limited he would not be able to extend his business this is my main issues this is my main problem and 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 the next then uh, uh, the next version you may explain the aims and objectives and in the aims and objectives you should explain that what are your aims what are your objectives if you have research questions if you have created you may write here for example, in my case, my objective is to provide the revenue maximizations. Uh, this is my one objective. The second uh, objective, my, uh, my objective is to um, uh, uh, scale the pro provider resources. The third one is the customer satisfactions. It depends on you how many objectives or aims uh, 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 on which you, you are going to work. And the, th the next thing is your contribution or your approaches. For example, my work is, my objective is to maximize the provider revenue. So if I am going to maximize the provider revenue, what approach I am going to use to maximize the provider revenue? Because this is a PhD, this is a research work, we are going 
to do any technical work we are going to do experimentations we are not going to write that uh, i will maximize this work by uh, i will maximize the water venue by doing this so in the approach you should explain in detail that how you are going to maximize the provider revenue, how you are going to achieve your objectives. In my case, uh, to achieve my one goal, to achieve my one objective, to scale the resources, for that I'm going to hire the external resources. And when I will hire the external resources, uh, this will minimize my issues to uh, uh, reject the service level agreement, to reject the customers which have high workloads and, and I'm not able to execute all these things. This will solve my issues. And the next thing, for example, I'm going to maximize the customer, sorry, to satisfy the customer. So how I'm going to satisfy the customer for that, I'm uh, dividing customers into different types and according to their types, I'm int introducing new pricing scheme and this pricing scheme will satisfy them. This will uh, uh, increase their satisfaction and when the customer satisfaction increase, this means that more customers are going to start business with you and uh, with more customers, your resources will be busy and your resources busyness means that you are earning more. The next part is uh, thesis organization. In the thesis organization, you detail, discuss in detail that how your further thesis is organized. You have discussed the first chapter. This, uh, this is not required to explain in detail once again. But further you will write in detail that for example, the second chapter includes the detailed literature review. And if you have published any paper to, for the literature review, and uh, then you should uh, you should write there that the part of this thesis, the part of this chapter, or this chapter is de derived from uh, from this paper. And after that, if you are writing a PhD dissertation, this means that you uh, uh, you have different publications, you have different methodologies, and these papers you will include these papers. Uh, as a chapter in your dissertations then you should write the for example the third chapter uh, discuss this thing and this chapter is derived from that and so on okay and after that at the end you give a draw you give a figure which will explain your thesis uh, which will uh, pictorially uh, discuss your thesis organizations uh, this this is also required this is also mandatory because this will guide your reader that uh, how your thesis is linked how your chapter organization and papers are linked with each other so this was a short introduction uh, a short introductory video how to write the introduction chapter uh, of your dissertations and we will dis also uh, discuss further how to write the literature and other etc. Inshallah I will cover all the dissertations. Thank you so much for watching.